guys, Christina Connolly here, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily do a screen grab or take a screenshot. You can use screenshots for all different sorts of things, including creating homemade tutorials. Okay, so first of all, let's look for the print screen button, which we can find on our keyboard. And that's usually in the top right of your keyboard, diagonal to the backspace and next to the scroll lock. The quickest and easiest way to do a screenshot is just to use this button right here. All right, I have a page ready for you online, which happens to be the Microsoft Help Center, which will also show you different ways to screenshot if you want to refer back to that on your own. I'm going to click the print screen button, come down to a Word document, and all I need to do is use the paste button or right click and paste, and I get a screenshot that appears on my document. This screenshot will behave like any other image in a document, so I can set my text wrapping, move my screenshot, add text, and interact with it any other way that I would like with the program that I've pasted it in. Likewise, if I wanted to paste onto a Google Doc or a Google Slide or a PowerPoint, it doesn't matter what program you choose. All you need to know is where to find the paste button, and you can get a copy of a screenshot on your document. Alternately, I can hold the Alt key down while I also click the print screen button, and what that will do for me is eliminate the taskbar part of my computer and only capture the active window. Let's go back and I'll quickly show that to you. Alt print screen. And again, I'm going to paste and you'll see that the first one has the black bar beneath it. And the second one does not. So you can see the difference there. And finally, you can also take a screenshot of just a piece of a window. And to do that, you'll need three different keys. You're going to need the Windows, the Shift, and then also the S key. So the S is on the other side of my keyboard, not showing here. Let's try this back on my help screen, Windows Shift S. And I get a cursor that allows me to cut out a specific portion of a page. It doesn't look like anything happened until I go back down to wherever I'm pasting, paste that on, and you can see that now I have just the piece of the screen that I was looking for. I hope that's helpful in helping you learn different ways that you can capture your screen. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks.